<laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So I finally got some time off work and uh, yeah, I'm going sledding as a 37 year old woman by myself. This is something that you can do in Utah. Uh, if you don't like skiing is go to Soldier Hollow, go uh, tubing. You don't have to hike back up the hill. They actually have a tow rope. Come along with the literal ride with me. I feel like a five year old. <laughs> I still feel like a five-year-old inside, let's be honest. But thanks for being here. Be sure to subscribe, like, share it with your friends because more the merrier. Soldier Hollow is about an hour drive north of Salt Lake City, Utah. You go past Park City and you come to the area where the Olympics were held here in Salt Lake City. You can experience a 1200 foot lane of tubing, which is what I am going for, or they also have a great cross country skiing area, biathlon experiences, and a great lodge for receptions and or work parties. Well, when we're able to do that again, that is. They do have tubes there for everyone to use. Just grab one that has one of the gray plastic bottoms and you're good to go. When you go to step on the escalator, make sure you have good balance because it is a little bit wobbly on the way up. On the way up, it does take about 20 minutes to get from the base to the top and you do have the option to just walk right on up the hill. It does get a little slick though. Kids love the area, but if they are under three, they are actually not allowed and you cannot have any of your kids ride on your lap. So be sure to grab a tube for everyone when you arrive. They have things divided up right now where you can go in a two hour time slot. So be sure to jump online and reserve your time. Otherwise it could be sold out when you get there. was so fun <laughs> I, I feel like the so it costs about thirty dollars to get in I feel like it may be a, a bit overpriced but we are kind of in that Heber Valley Park City area so this area is right where they used they uh, did the Olympic Nordic skiing so they do have some tracks for Nordic skiing but they also have guided snowshoe tours here as well they're about $75, you do have to reserve that in advance. But as far as the sledding, some tips that I would say is dress warm, um, dress in layers. If you feel like you have too much, you don't have to go back to the car. You can just put the extra clothes in the bottom of the tube that you decide to pick up. Yeah, just make sure you bring your mask. I really like that, you know, I know it might seem crowded. I know it might seem like there's just too many people, but I feel, I feel so grateful that they did something like this because I could really see it being beneficial for families getting together that, you know, the dad may have some knee issues or mom may have some back issues or some kind of health problem that prevents them from doing, you know, hiking up that hill. This allows you to have the whole family go. 
and I saw people super old to super young just coming up enjoying the time together being outside and yeah this is a great place to come an alternate to um, skiing in Utah that's it for now be sure to subscribe like share with a friend because more the merrier and I will see you culture trekkers in the next one bye